What's going on guys? It's Kyle again with DTOM Knives and Gear and today I am finally able to do my or ready to do my review on the Todd Begg Steelcraft Bodega. Stay tuned. Alright, welcome back everybody. Okay, today's the day we are ready to do the full review of the Todd Begg Steelcraft Series Bodega. Uh, wow, am I so excited about this knife. Uh, first thing, I wanted to kind of just show the box that it comes in because, I, you know, I've said this before, the packaging I know is really not that important, but it, it kind of is to me whenever you have a, you know, a high-end knife. I'd like to see good packaging and they do not disappoint with the uh, Todd Beck Steelcraft series. It has the magnetic clasp with your uh, thank you and certificate, you know, serial number thing. And of course it is a, um, you know, foam cutout. I just think it's a really nice package. And so it's worth noting that it does come in this. Um, then of course, you know, there's the, uh, two-tone you know blah 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 the description of what is in the box uh and that is this bad boy this is the todd Pig steelcraft bodega this one is in the tumble titanium finish with the fan pattern uh you know not an inlay but a fan patterned milling on the uh, outside Oh man, is this thing gorgeous. Now, of course, they make the Steelcraft series in an array of different uh, finishes and colors and whatnot. This one is more kind of a plain Jane version, but I like it quite a bit. Uh, it does have a S35 VN blade. This is the two-tone blade. They did make a hand satin finish, which... They, I actually, this knife is made by Riot Todd Begg designed. Todd Begg is, um, of course, an American designer uh, who makes absolutely gorgeous and well-made custom mid-tech knives. Uh, and the Steelcraft series is made by Riot. It basically, it, you know what, and I know a lot of people as far as re, uh, any Chinese maker, Riot is the best of the best when it comes to Chinese makers. And so Todd Begg collaborated with them uh, they did, you know, it was, it wasn't just, okay, make this thing. They worked really close together to be able to have a product that he was proud of. And they did an excellent job. I, you know, this is still an American design knife just made by Riot. Uh, instead of paying, you know, a thousand to two thousand dollars for one of his custom knives, you can purchase this. And this one costs around, you know, when it was new, uh, when they first came out, $460, you could get, almost just as good. Now, it's definitely a different knife, but I'm telling you, Riot does such a great job. I have another knife made by Riot that we will be doing a review on uh, later, and it's the exact same way. I'm a huge fan. They do excellent work. Uh, the Todd Begg Bodega is just an iconic design by Mr. Begg. You have your regular, um, your fuller there with the holes in it, which is definitely a Todd Begg thing. This is a full titanium frame lock, S35VN, and just an absolutely gorgeous knife. Let me get it a little bit closer. It has what they call a fan pattern on the... Um, uh, titanium scales here, excellent titanium pocket clip with a ceramic ball, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But as you can see, this wonderfully tumbled titanium scale with the milling on it, just absolutely gorgeous backspacer, titanium backspacer with the checkering. And then of course the um, I don't even know what you'd call that, but kind of a jimpid gear pattern on there. Oh, it's just so freaking well done. That right there indicates the IKBS bearings, which are this knife is running on. And because it has the ceramic ball, it is running on ceramic IP IKBS bearings. Absolutely love that. This one it does have, which is really cool, it does have the lock bar insert, uh, but the screws come from the other side, so you don't have the screw heads uh, sticking out. I love that. <laughs> uh, I think it's just an extra little touch. 
you can kind of see that pivot, how it raises up there, come to a point. It's not a sharp point, but it's just a really sexy design that I really am excited. Now, what really got me excited and wanting to pick one of these things, these guys up is uh, a guy that you might have heard of, Dirk Warning. He is a YouTuber, uh, and he is just killing it over there. He has such an awesome, awesome collection. Me and him have talked back and forth. He's a great, great guy, and, uh, and he knows a lot about Todd Beck knives. He has their Steelcraft series, he has a bunch of those, and he also has some of Todd Begg's uh, Midtex custom knives, so he knows a lot about them. And when I saw his videos, I was like, yeah, I need to check that out. Now, as of right now, I couldn't find any uh, in, in any retailers. I don't know if they're coming back or whatnot. Like I said, they're around 460 bucks for this particular model. They make a mini bodega. They have a couple of other different models, but uh, you can still find them. Just, um, it might be just a little bit harder to just kind of keep your uh, ear out in some of the forums and YouTube, or I'm sorry, the Facebook pages, Reddit, that kind of stuff. I think I've seen a couple on eBay, you know, uh, but absolutely worth it. I think these things are so freaking gorgeous. Also, my size. Um, this is a bigger knife. I love the big knives. You guys know that because I have big hands. And then, of course, this wonderful finger troll that allows me to choke up on this thing. Makes for an ergonomic, melt-in-your-hand knife. Oh, I just absolutely love it. How was the action? The action on this thing is tuned to perfection as far as the flipping action is concerned. It is running on those bearings. And as you can see, it doesn't fall shut but probably one of the smoothest actions that I felt uh, on a uh, on a knife, especially you know that's not an American-made knife. Uh, like I said, American designer, but made by Riot. I have no problems with that whatsoever. But as you can see, you get that lock bite out of the way, it drops. Then it has that little bit of a pressure, a uh, little bit of pressure, and then boom, it just is so freaking smooth. As you can see there, you can get into the pinch grip uh, to roll it out using that fuller. Another, of course, thing that really got me excited was using that fuller to do the reverse flick so it does have the fidget factor for me so boom it has a lot it checks a lot of boxes um but yeah it's a it's a bigger knife this thing weighs around 6.35 ounces or so so you know a little bit over six ounce knife yeah yeah or well it's perfectly acceptable for me. I know some people are like, whoa, it's way too thick. I do not think it is at all. For the size of this knife, I mean, it is an 8.875 inch knife, you know, so just under nine inches with a three and three quarter inch blade. It's about 160 thousandths um, uh, thick blade stock here. She got some good blade, the uh, thick blade stock. The grind on it carries out. So you have a very nice tip it is not a re robust tip uh, you know i wouldn't recommend prying with any knife but it definitely comes down to a really good tip drop point blade with this beautiful swedge uh the two-tone satin blade is gorgeous they do have a hand satin hand rub satin one that's even better looking holy crap they do a good job with that um let me see if i can go ahead and get this to focus the Todd Begg Steelcraft series on this side, and I think that is basically it other than this. It is S35 VN steel. Uh, just an absolute wonderfully put together high-end production knife that I have fallen in love with, and I really am thankful for uh, Dirk Warning and his videos. There's, there's quite a few videos out on these guys, um, and they're all great. Uh, you know, Metal Complex did one, and he actually said that this knife was pretty close to his Excalibur. So that ought to tell you something if you are familiar with uh, with Metal Complex. That's a big deal. Um, the like I said, I think the Todd Beggs. You know, obviously they're different. You do have a two piece uh, lock bar on the on the Todd Begg design knives where if this does happen to wear or whatever, you can replace that, which that is a testament to the tolerances that they hold, um, that you were able to just replace the lock bar. Um, so that's really cool. Now, this thing, as far as, you know, like I said, action, I, you really can't beat it. This pocket clip carries so freaking good. Now, you know, obviously it carries pretty deep, but you are going to have a little bit sticking out. And of course you have this really cool backspacers right here that really, I mean, in, in my opinion, in the reverse grip is what that's there for. So you can have some grip there. So it's very comfortable in that grip. Um, the overall size, like I said, a little bit over or a little bit under nine inches. Let's go ahead and give it 
some size comparisons. So here it is against the Perico, Perico, Spyderco PM2. And then here it is against the Benchmade Super Freak. As you can see, a bigger blade than both of those. A um, couple of knives that are more towards the high end. Like this knife, we have the Hinderer XM24 and then the Spartan Harsey folder as you can see pretty similar to these two knives as far as the size so it's not a little guy you guys know me i like the big boys and this my good friend makes me happy <laughs> really really fun knife to have and carry in the pocket because it is just absolutely gorgeous let me add, let me just kind of say while i'm thinking about it okay you see the finish and the milling that is around here this is one piece of titanium and it is kind of uh, mill out a groove to look like the um, the pivot collar that is on the real still um, Todd Beg, but the the thing is is it me being in manufacturing the only way they could have done this is basically put the final finish on uh, this blade and then put it back in the machine to make these grooves around here. So very risky and very time consuming for. Um, for the mill work on this guy. So that it's definitely what adds to some of the price. Um, it's just very well done. Fit and finish for this knife is absolutely spot on. I do not find anything wrong as far as fit and finish. It's just a very well put together knife and just a wonderful, excellent design. It's just eye candy. It's gorgeous. Has this really cool ramp right here. So when your flipper, uh, when your finger comes down, it has this little ramp that is not jimped. Very, very comfortable. Probably the only thing that I have experienced with this knife is because there's no jimping on the uh, flipper tab up here, it's very nice and smooth and rounded off, very comfortable to use. But I have sometimes done that. <laughs> you know, this is exaggerated. But I have sometimes come off the flipper tab on this particular knife, especially if I'm, you know, carrying other knives that don't have flipper tabs, which is often the case, you know, because I have a lot of knives in my possession and using on a daily basis to review and whatnot. So there have been a couple of times when I've started to put this back in the pocket and actually came off that flipper tab. It is not a huge deal. Uh, I do like the way they do it, but if they have just a little bit of jimping on there, it might prevent me from doing that. And so that's, you know, that is a thing, but I just absolutely think this thing is gorgeous. So like I said, since this has the ceramic ball on the, um, on the pocket clip, that means the IKPS bearings are also uh, ceramic. So that really makes this thing just an absolute smooth as glass action. Uh, the detent, like I said, is is dialed in perfectly, but you wouldn't think, see if you can see it. See, it comes down, it just, it's a really late when it comes and sucks that blade in there and it doesn't have that sound like some of them do, but it's just so well put together that you cannot fail this in the least. <laughs> and then, of course, using that fuller with the reverse flick just makes for an amazing, fun action uh, while you are carrying it. So the 160 thousandths uh, blade thickness and this flat grind that comes up maybe about halfway of the, of the blade, it gives this thing an edge of about behind the edge thickness of about 20 thousandths. It cuts like a dream. Um, it is so, it was so sharp coming out of the box. This was a new knife. Uh, and I, man, I tell you, I, I can't get over the ergonomic feel of this big beastly knife uh, the jimming up here might not some people might not like that it's not very sharp um it's, it is rounded off but it's kind of far away um you know as far as the spacing so it's definitely really really grippy and i frankly love it but i can see that this might bother some people um for, you know just from what i've seen but i think this is an absolute wonderful place for the jimping first off and the way that it feels in hand locks you in so well uh, but is not painful in any way shape or form at all so ugh, i uh, <laughs> it's one of those knives where when i pull this out people are like whoa what the heck is that i know and it's just it's just an amazing feat the fact that they have this texturing on the other side, but they don't bring it all the way down because of the pocket clip. Um, just an excellent, excellent 
design. I mean, I, I this thing carries great. It has great action. It's pretty. It's got premium materials, and frankly, is pretty close to perfect. Um, when if you like big knives, now they do make a mini bodega, um, and a couple of other different models. If you like the smaller stuff, but if you like the bigger knives. Holy moly. <laughs> this is definitely one to look at uh, and p try to pick up because it is just absolutely superbly beautiful and well put together. Now, it does have a lanyard hole. Um, I don't use landers, lanyards much, but you can see that it doesn't take precedent over the pocket clip. Pocket clip does come up here. You can see that when it fits in your pocket, man, it angles it in such a way where this flipper tab is really not going to get in your way when you have it in pocket. It carries like a dream even for a 6.35 ounce knife. Oh, <laughs> if you can handle that weight, guys, this was definitely one to look at. Um, I have really had nothing but great things and experiences with this knife since I've had it. Um, and just because it's so gorgeous, functional, and just ticks all the boxes for me. So kudos to Todd Begg and to Riot. This is a testament of what they can do, and it is great great work absolutely wonderful holy crap so um yeah if you have any questions on this i highly recommend that you go check out dirk warning uh's video because he has quite a few videos on this particular knife comparing it to the um real custom version knife so if you're if you have any questions go check out his channel i'll have it linked down in the description where you can go and probably get a lot of your questions answered about this beautiful beast um, but, uh, anyways, I am stoked that I have this in the collection. Um, very, I mean, I, I've got to now check out some Todd Begg, uh, customs just to, just to see what those differences are. I, hopefully maybe I can get to handle one of those one day because I am a fan. And then also, this is a testament to Riot guys on the quality of work that they do. You've, I, I, oh. They do such a great job. I know it's a Chinese manufacturer, and yes, we like America first, but these American designers that bring their designs to the market at a lower price point using a company like Riot, I think is a great, great idea. I just, you know, because obviously fifteen to two thousand fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars is a lot of money to spend on a knife, and to be able to bring that price point down to where we can experience this design for the price point that you can get from the Steelcraft series is 100% on the money, in my opinion. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by and checking this out with me. Uh, like I said, go check out Dirk Warning. His uh, information will be down below for his YouTube channel and his uh, Instagram. He posts all kinds of funny stuff. He's just a great guy. And the reason that I was um, wanting to pick this guy up. So definitely go check him out. Stay safe out there, guys, in this crazy, crazy world that we're living in. And we will see you in the next one.